Hey there, movie fans. Welcome to the Blues of November 2019. Starting off with the only DVD that I have, and that is Drive. Uh, not the 2011 movie, of course, but this is the 1997 action movie with Mark Dacuscus. And um, you know, I, I talked about Dacuscus in my previous update, and I said that uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf is perhaps his best film. But two YouTubers, um, uh, Geek Legion of Doom and Lamer Derek, they both said that Drive is his best film. So I bought the uh, German release with the longer director's cut and also has some special features right here, including the uh, making of documentary. And uh, I watched it and I really enjoyed it. I... You know, personally, I, I don't think this is his best film, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It definitely was. And uh, I guess I have to get the um, the shorter theatrical version as well, because uh, I read that that version has a different ending. So I might have to uh, pick that one up as well. But anyway, uh, Leo and Lamer, thank you very much for recommending me this movie. Next is a true classic in the German Expressionism movement, Der Golem, which I have never seen before, believe it or not. But uh, I am looking forward to uh, checking it out. This is a beautiful release by Eureka, by the way. Part of the uh, Masses of Cinema series. It come with the, uh, the booklets, as you can see here. Yeah, very beautiful release. And I also picked up another beautiful release from Eureka, and that is The African Queen. And uh, I had, you know, it's really stuck in there, the, uh, the disc and the booklet. So it, it, I had very difficulties to, uh, to get these things out. But uh, anyway, here it is. Beautiful transfer as well. And here is the... Uh, the booklet. There's uh, Humphrey Bogart with his wife Lauren Bacall, Catherine Hepburn, John Huston, the director. Yeah, great movie, great movie. I also um, pre-ordered um, another Eureka release, uh, A Fistful of Dynamite, but I, but I haven't got it yet. Still waiting for it. But anyway, The African Queen. I picked up these two films from uh, Zavi. They have, um, you know, buy one and get one for free uh, uh, deal of uh, Arrow Academy titles. Uh, two films by two maestros of Italian cinema. Starting off with uh, Viva l'Italia by Roberto Rossellini. And I haven't seen any of them, by the way, so these are blind buys. But uh, this surely looks very interesting. And the other one is uh, Miracola, uh, excuse me, Miracolo a Milano by uh, Vittorio De Sica. The man who did uh, Bicycle Thieves and, and um, Beto D, Shoeshine, you know, all these beautiful Italian films. This also has a, an extra film, uh, Il Tetto, also by De Sica. Next is Crime Story with Jackie Chan. This is a beautiful release from 88 Films, by the way, limited to uh, 3000, as you can see there. Although I, I think the um, the slipcase and the booklet are the ones that are limited. I'm sure that the movie itself will be released in the standard edition. But um, yeah, great release. I'm also getting the other uh, titles, Jackie Chan titles, that uh, this company will be put out. And... Um, I, this film was a lot of fun. Not not as fun as, for example, the police story movies, because this is a lot more serious than that, of course. 
but there's a, a fair amount of action scenes and, and you know crazy stunt work with uh, with Chan. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Crime story. Next is Wanted Dead or Alive with Rutger Hauer as the uh, bounty hunter who is hunting down uh, a terrorist played by Gene Simmons and he's, he's pretty good in it as well. And Hauer of course is, is very good as uh, uh, Nick Randall. Yeah. You know, the grandson of Steve McQueen's character in, in the uh, TV series also with the same name. And oh, I believe I believe he's a grandson, or at least he's he's related to Steve McQueen's character. But um, yeah, it was, it was great seeing this film again after so many years, and uh, it was better than I expected. And of course, there's a a brilliant death scene at the end. I won't I won't tell you anything about it, but it's 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 brilliant. But um, yeah. Very happy to have this film on Blu-ray. Next is Upgrade, and this is really an upgrade for me, uh, because the other Blu-ray that I have of this movie is Bare Bones, and this has lots of special features, as you can see here. And a very beautiful release from a Second Sight. Sec yeah, Second Sight, excuse me. Um, and a great film, you know, it is definitely one of my favorite Blumhouse uh, movies. Uh, Blumhouse is merely known for, you know, the, for the horror films. But anyway, let's take a look at this uh, release. You got the uh, uh, poster and you have the booklet as well. With lots of info and essays and pictures, of course. Yeah, very, very nice release. I got a few film noir titles here, and the first one is The Big Clock with uh, Ray Milland and the always great Charles Lawton. And uh, his wife is also in it, uh, Elsa Lanchester, who's best known as uh, The Bride of Frankenstein. But this is a gem of a movie, you know, an excellent noir thriller with elements of a uh, screwball comedy. And um, it was remade in 1987 as No Way Out with Kevin Costner and Gene Hackman. Also a pretty good film, but I preferred this one. And um, next is also a good one. And that is Dark City, uh, Charlton Heston's debut film. Um, he plays the leader of this small-time criminal gang who makes a living by uh, cheating people at poker games. And when their latest victim uh, hangs himself, uh, his brother is out for revenge and kills these guys one by one until Heston is the only one left. It's it's almost like a like a slasher movie, you know, without the slashing, slasher noir. How about that? But uh, yeah, excellent film, and a fine release from a uh, Arrow Academy. Here's the other cover art, by the way. Let me show the uh, the one of the big clock, which is also an Arrow Academy title. There it is. It's very plain, you know, very simple. So I kind of prefer the uh, the original artwork, even though it's it's a little it's a little weird. But um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Uh, here is Noir Archive Collection. This is a uh, volume one. There are volume two and volume three as well. Uh, but I haven't gotten those yet. But this has. Nine B films spread over uh, three Blue A's. Uh, you have Address Unknown, Escape in the Fog, The Guilt of Janet Ames, uh, The Black Book, Johnny Allegro, uh, 711 Ocean Drive, The Killer That Stalked New York, uh, Assignment Paris, and The Miami Story. I've only seen one, and that is Escape in the Fog which was directed by Bud Bedeker, 
who later became more famous as a Western director. And there was another one that was directed by a guy who later was famous for his Western. Um, Anthony Mann, I believe. That's, that's the film that he directed, The Black Book. Yeah, here it is. Anthony Mann. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I originally there was um, there was uh, they were in another keep case, you know, more or less, you know, cheap echo keep case with the disc were on on top of each other, but I swapped them. I put them in here because it's you know better this way, as you can see. But um, this is a very nice set, very nice set, and um, it it is a little too pricey, you know. The, it's about $35, which is, might not be bad for, you know, nine movies, but still, they could have bring down the price a little bit, but um, anyway, still is a very nice release with, uh, you know, nine obscure noir films. I picked up this box set from Kino, Ida Lupino Filmmaker Collection. Not only was he a great actress, but also a great filmmaker. And this set contains Not Wanted. This is her first film as a director. But, as you can see, she didn't get the credits for it. Uh, she only got the credits for uh, you know, co-producing and co-writing. Uh, the original director, Elmer, uh, Elmer Clifton, excuse me, uh, had a serious heart attack during the making of this film. And he was never recovered from it and he died shortly after the film came out so Lupino took over his job and um, Never Fear her second film as a director but it's the first one that she got credits for it uh, she co-wrote it with producer Collier Young who was her husband at the time uh, The Hitchhiker uh, this is perhaps Lupino's best film, about a couple of guys going on a road trip and they pick up a hitchhiker along the way and they should not have done that. Now here is the old, the, uh, excuse me, Blu-ray that I had for some time in my collection and I wanted to sell it but then I found out that this has a better transfer than a new one which is restored in 2K believe it or not. Um, uh, I saw it on uh, DVDBeaver.com where they compared these two Blu-rays, and uh, I'll, I'll put the link below to that the to, you know to the uh, comparison so you can see it for yourself. But um, I'm I'm keeping this, so <laughs> just for the for the transfer. But it's just uh, incredible what what the difference is between these two uh, between these two releases. But anyway. And finally, uh, here is The Bigamist, a beautiful melodrama about a man played by Edmund O'Brien who's married to John Fontaine and then one day he meets Ida Lupino, marries her as well, and you know, the, the two women doesn't know about each other. But then somebody finds out about it with the necessary consequences, of course. And um, it also stars Ed Edmund Gwen, best known as Santa Claus in Miracle on 34th Street. One of my favorite Christmas movies, by the way. Uh, the original version, of course, not the one with uh, Richard Attenborough. And uh, there's a couple of in-jokes in The Bigamist uh, to that film. Uh, at one point, O'Brien's character calls Gwen's character Santa Claus. But, um, yeah, finally we have the booklet right here. You see it behind the camera. Yeah, this is a very, very beautiful release. Oh. Of a classy lady, for sure. Yep, yeah, very nice.
Next is the box set uh, from uh, Eureka Fuller at Fox, Samuel Fuller, another favorite uh, director of mine. Five films, 1951, 1957. Uh, yeah, great release. Absolutely a great release. Let me show you what it has. Oh, it also has a booklet, which I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, here is a fixed bayonet. Uh, you know, about the, uh, the Korean War. And here we have Pick Up on South Street with uh, Richard Whitmark. Another one with Richard Whitmark, Hell and High Water. House of Bamboo. This looks very beautiful on, uh, on Blu-ray, by the way. And finally, we have 40 Guns, a Western that he made with uh, Barbara Stanwyck. And here is the pretty thick booklet with uh, you know, lots of information, pictures, essays, you name it, it's all there. There he is. He always had a, had a cigar in his mouth, you know. That's one of his trademarks. Sam Fuller. I recently saw a film called um, A Return to Salem's Lot, which was not really that good, but um, he had a small ro role in it as a vampire hunter, and he was, he was a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I really had to laugh. Uh, of his of his performance, not in a bad way, of course, but I thought he was I thought he was uh, enjoyable. Uh, this is his uh, autobiography, which I still need to get, by the way. But um, yeah, beautiful release from uh, Eureka. And here's another box set, this time from Indicator, Hammer, uh, Volume Four, Faces of Fear. Here's my number for those who are interested. Let's take a look at the contents. Here is um, The Damned, or also known as These Are The Damned. With a, a very young Oliver Reed. I believe there's a picture on the other side. There he is, right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Taste of Fear with Christopher Lee. It also has a different title, which is Scream of Fear. And this is The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll. I actually prefer this one over this artwork, by the way. And finally, we have The Revenge of Frankenstein. Here's the other artwork right there. Yeah, great release once again from Indicator. And last but not least, I picked up this beautiful set from uh, Everything Blue of uh, Martin Scorsese's Casino. As you can see, they have done a beautiful job once again with this uh, with this release. Look at that; that is very nice. You can actually feel the uh, the blood stains on here. But uh, anyway, it has the steel book, which contains uh, the uh, 4K Blu-ray and the regular Blu-ray. And there's some extras in here as well. Ooh, it almost fell out. Here's a picture there from the movie. So you got this little thing. Let me open it up. Let's see what it has. So you got a little chip here. Nice, nice little extra. 
and here is the uh, the card with my number on it uh, 123 out of 800 there's a little ticket for the uh, the Sasha Semenov Orchestra and the Sam Rothstein Dancers and here's a small picture booklet yeah I, I just watch um, Scorsese's latest film The Irishman and that is great of course absolutely great I do prefer the uh, um, Casino though I think, do think Casino is a better film and also uh, Goodfellas is a better film but still The Irishman uh, is an excellent film Uh, here is a little envelope, and inside it are well quotes from uh, from the movie. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Another little advertisement muffin. <laughs> Nice little extra. Oh, and these are um, you no, know, just cards, character cards, if you will. Joe Pesci there, Sharon Stone, De Niro, and a, a very small cardboard poster you, that you can put on your shelf or anything like that. And it also has a very small poster, or another small poster. This is a uh, San Marino Italian grocery, uh, take home a taste of Italy, <laughs> very nice, very nice, and there's something else, a pouch, and inside this pouch are diamonds, oh no, dice cubes, oh well, you cannot, you cannot have everything right, but anyway, that's a, uh, that's a very very nice release from uh, from Everything Blue. Yep, very nice. And that is it for this. Oh, I need to clean this shit up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, that is it for my November update. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.